Alright guys, don't know how well this is going to show up just yet. I'm still working on uh, this mini. A couple of minis I picked up uh, at a re recent um, impromptu shopping trip. Translation, I found myself in a gaming store which had minis and spent money. So, there you go. This is the Gorton uh, Avalancher. It's the dwarf Rulik Warjack that has the cannon. And there's a shield that goes right here. I haven't put the shield on yet. Uh, the main reason being, once I put the shield on, it will be very hard to paint this arm right here. Hopefully this is going to show up a little bit better than it's looking like it will. Um, I also picked up a, uh, what do they call it, the Artillery Corps for the Dwarves. This is one of the minis. It's a, it's, I'm impressed. I really am. I, I didn't know that game, or I'm sorry, that uh, Privateer Press had put this level of detail into the Dwarf minis. I, I think they're really cool. I, I honestly do. Um, he's probably not going to show up all that well, but he's uh, one of the guys with binoculars right there in his hand. Now, one thing about the Dwarves for this particular game is that they don't have beards. They're not these are not GW, Tolkien, generalized D&D &D fantasy dwarves. These guys don't have beards. Most of the artwork, they have goatees. Maybe a couple of them have like the human. If you were to do a, a standard human-sized beard, not down to here on the guy. Um, I find that different kind of refreshing. They're, they're, they're kind of cool that way. Other than that, Excuse me. They're pretty much the same in that they're slow. They're only speed four, um, but they're short, stocky, wear high armor. I mean, this guy alone, I think, is armor fifteen or fourteen. This warjack's armor nineteen. Uh, he's defense nine. I mean, <laughs> uh, defense nine. I mean, you, you're gonna hit him. Um, but with his shield, he's armor twenty-one, which is better than some some of the standard Cador warjacks. But at any rate, that is uh, my recent purchases. This is also partially a video response to the Dismo, um, or AKA Big Mike, or you know Irish, whatever you want to call him. He he put up a video that he was doing some changes to his channel. Uh, cool. I, I wish you luck with the changes to your channel, sir. I personally uh, agree with you. If you have something you wish to put out on the channel other than just minis cool. Um, I think what kind of could work is if you were to paint something, aka uh, one of your space marines you've been working on forever, um, you know, if you're painting that while doing your video and doing your your rant, your conversation, your artwork pieces, whatever you want to put out there, I, I think that would be a good way to go. And then people can, you know, if for those that want to watch painting, you can be painting. And for those that just want to sit there and listen to you, they can sit there and listen to you. I mean, I, I think it's a good way to go. I really do, man. Um, I, I wish you luck with that. I'm, you're not going to lose me as a sub. I've been around since you started and probably will be around for quite a bit longer. I mean, you're coming up on your 100th video, man. That's, that's a lot of videos to put out in seven months. Granted, you know, you have 52 weeks in a year, two videos a week, you'll get to 104. Not nearly as dramatic. But anyway, you'll get to 100 videos without really trying that hard. What I'm trying to say is, you've done a lot of work. You've come a long way. Your painting has progressed to a level that I think, personally, is very advanced. Um, despite what you say that your painting is low quality, dude, you could hold your hold par with you know General Splatten, uh, Leiden. I, I'm trying to think of Black Sun Studios or Black Sun Art Studios. Speaking of which, I haven't seen that many videos from him in a while either. If, I don't know if you want to post anything about him or if you know anything as to how he's doing. Uh, but at any rate, yeah, man, if you want to have political discussions, I mean, you know, let's throw it out there on YouTube. I mean, uh, I wouldn't say you'd have to go so far as to do a discussion channel, but maybe just set up some ground rules with your with your discussions in the front, you know keep the comments into a logical argument and avoid just spewing rhetoric back and forth at one another, I think you'll be fine. 
uh, the political stuff, you'll probably get a lot of people on both sides of the aisle. Or, you know, if you start putting out an opinion, opinions are like butts. Everybody's got one. So, you know, um, I, I look forward to seeing what some of your your updates and stuff are. Now, I will admit I'm not going to watch them all because um, as much as I love your channel, there's just uh, if you start going on for 20 minutes about a single book, I'm probably not going to watch that. And that's not to say that others won't. I just probably won't. It's just me. But at any rate, um, that's pretty much it. And uh, see you in the next one.